Hello guys, welcome to another episode of the Commerce Lab by Comsi, the place of everything related to Amazon FBA and e-commerce. My name is Vincenzo Toscano, founder and CEO of Ecomsi, and today we're bringing another special friend, which is John Cavendish, who is the founder and CEO of Seller Candy, an amazing solution when it comes to helping you with everything related to Amazon Seller Central support and much more, which actually is what we're going to be speaking today. When it comes to Amazon Seller Central support, it's always like Every single time you go into LinkedIn or Facebook, every single place, everybody's having an issue. They don't know how to really <laughs> deal with Amazon or to submit an appeal, etc. And that's why I feel Seller Candy is the perfect solution for that. I'm making sure, you know, you actually focus on working on, on scaling your business, right? And having to reply every 12 hours to <laughs> the same copy-paste reply from Amazon. So, John, uh, it's a pleasure to have you here. How are you doing, my friend? Ah, Vincenzo, thank you for the kind words and thank you for having me. Yeah, I'm very good. It's a, ple it's a pleasure. Thank you for being here. Uh, to be honest, uh, the reason why I want you to, to be here is because I have seen what you guys are doing with Seller Candy. And I think it's, it's an amazing solution because I, I, I mean, I own an agency and every single day I, I work with sellers that they're really struggling to navigate with, uh, basically how to deal with a uh, Seller Central. Mm -hmm. And, and having a solution like yours that is so you know intuitive, uh, fast, and, and easy to to fix issues, I think is is game changer. And that's why I want you to you know spread the word so people can get to know you more. Now, uh, before we jump into the, that, I would like to first start with you, John. I think with my podcast, uh, something that I found very fascinating is always the founders and their story and how they came in to do what they're doing right now. And I would like to learn from you, John, and so audience can know who is John, how you go start into e-commerce and what made you do Seller Candy, yeah? Sure, thank you. Um, yeah, I mean, I was, when I got into e-commerce, I was living like two miles from you, where you currently live, like across yeah, the yeah. river in the east end <laughs> of London. Yeah. Um, and I was an engineer. So I was working as an engineer in a nice. consultancy company, like a mechanical engineer, nothing to do with tech, nothing to do with mm -hmm. online, like just yeah, similar to me. Nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sitting at a desk doing spreadsheets. What engineers do, not not all the cool yeah. stuff. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. And I wanted to make money online. I was like, how do I, how can I make money online? So I did what everyone else did. I Googled it. I thought I'll become a blogger. This was 2014. I'll, mm -hmm. I'll make YouTube videos. I'll do this different stuff, but I'm not a good writer. I wasn't very good on camera. And when I was listening to the, a podcast, I think it was uh, My Wife Quit Her Job, like Steve Chu's podcast. Yes. Mm -hmm. I think Ryan Moran was on that. And he was talking about ASM because he was a massive ASM affiliate back then, making loads yeah. of money, just, flog, you know, just pushing ASM to his group, the tribe. <laughs> So I was like, I understand this. I can even, without signing up, I can see the steps it would be from finding something to launching. So I was like, well, to hold myself accountable, I'll sign up for a course. I signed up for ASM. Um, in ASM 4, when everyone said it was too late to get into e-commerce because yeah, they were already number four. No, now, <laughs> now we're number, what, 16 or something. Yeah. Um, and yeah, started that. So I was, start I was contracting as an engineer at the time, although I was super young, I'd like... I was unhappy with the job anyway, so I started contracting, selling my time mm -hmm. for money. And so I had spare cash. So luckily I put like six thousand dollars, something like that, into okay. into a product, started off and I never looked back from there really. Like it started wow. slow, but it grew and grew, and we did like a million AR uh, annual revenue by um like eighteen months later. Wow, and that's kind of, crazy. Kind of grew very from there. fast growth. <laughs> Yeah, we were, we were the opposite way of everyone else, though, because I did Europe at the time. So I did Europe, and nothing mm. was set up in Europe. There was no no Panny UFBA. There was none of this stuff. I had to use a service and then try and cobble together how to register for VAT in different countries. And yeah, it was pre all of this stuff. I see. Um, Good. Yes, we grew, and it was great. Wow. And the next step. Oh, yeah, sorry. gone. Yeah, gone. Um, well, the next step after that was like, it wasn't very fulfilling selling supplements on Amazon. And I was like, it was all right. <laughs> you tell me, you tell me. Yeah, I have that experience. <laughs> making money is obviously always good. But yeah. um, selling supplements on Amazon didn't fulfill me. So I tried a few different things. Like with a partner, we made a course back in the day, like 2016 mm -hmm. or 2017, called FBA Frontiers, where we help people expand into Europe. Okay. Um, we bought quite a few of those. Then from there... I got into Tony Robbins and started doing personal mm. development stuff. And I was like, I want to do something that adds more value to the world um, and do something. So I bet then you me. did a lot of jumps, dancing, screaming. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> I love it. 
<laughs> and as yeah, I've been to the able... ones he does here in Birmingham. He does a few every single year. He does events here in Birmingham. Very mm -hmm. nice, very nice. Yeah. The one in June, in July. Sorry, in Birmingham. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. you should go. Uh, my well, you, go. you should meet my COO. He's also he's based ah. in the UK. He's also going. I bought him a ticket. I bought all nice, my team nice. tickets to That's different good. Tony Robbins events. Good. I'm so gonna meet there. Then. <laughs> yeah, cool. I'll introduce him. Um, yeah. So I was doing this, and I was like, "How can I add more value?" An agency, so similar to you, an agency model. Mm -hmm. um, so as as most people do when they start a new model, they think operations is everything. So I spent yes. six months screwing around with my operating team, trying to make things work, mm -hmm. and then realized, oh, I need to sell. So I got a sales coach, and from there we very quickly scaled from selling nothing to to getting up to like a million dollars run rate worth of selling in about a year again as well. Okay. And then as I was growing, I was like, I don't want to scale the operations on this thing. Like, mm -hmm. I don't want to have to build a creative agency plus an ads agency plus mm -hmm. you know all these things you that's, need to run. That's me. <laughs> um, yeah. And if you can make it work, it's amazing. Because I know people that make yeah, it work yeah. and make a lot of money, and it's good. Um, but as I was growing, I heard about productized services as a business, which is doing a small scope of things really well. And I was like, well, we could bring this into the Amazon space. Everyone, I had like 500 sales calls that year because we've mm -hmm. done so much outbound. Every, and everyone I talked to, whether they could be successful on Amazon or not, hated working with seller support. So I was like, <laughs> sounds like an opportunity to me. Yeah. Um, let's let's get rid of all the clients. I sold them all to, other, to another agency who still got them. They did a great job. I took on different team members and we started building the system. And then again, you start at zero. It takes forever to get things going and start, yeah. start the momentum mm -hmm. machine. But mm -hmm. yeah, since then we've grown pretty quickly. We've got a couple, you know, more, uh, couple hundred accounts, 70 team members. Um, we've just wow. been growing for the last Crazy. three years. Yeah, I love it. Uh, to be honest, I love your story because it's very similar to mine. Uh, mm -hmm. I also come from engineering background. I also then became a, a seller. Then I, I got bored and then I did an agency. So it's like we followed the same steps. And on top of that, we were very close living in the same area. So, wow, it's like a clan. <laughs> yeah, and my sister moved to Italy. So you're like my yeah. Italian brother. Wow, wow. Yeah, 100%. But yeah, I mean, to be honest, yes, I think what you do, uh, what you did with Seller Candy is definitely something that, uh, you know, disrupted the industry in the sense that it's something completely different. And I feel you definitely offering so much value with uh, basically the solutions that you've been to the sellers. And I think at the same time, there is some why I want you to, to come today is because I bet like with all these accounts you currently supporting and with your team on a daily basis, you have seen everything possible when it comes to Amazon Seller Central support. And I think for this episode, uh, what I would like to focus is so what are the latest things you have seen Seller Central support? Maybe we can start about uh, what is the current situation right now when it comes to, uh, you know, the, the delays when it comes to dealing with Seller Central support, because I have spoken with other colleagues in the space and we have seen a decline when it comes to dealing with Amazon for certain, you know, technical things or listings or appeals. And I would like to hear your take in here, maybe some tips, how to navigate that. Yeah, yeah it's a challenge, isn't it? Um, yeah, I mean, the honest answer is, yeah, we've also seen a slowdown mm -hmm. of getting things done, getting responses. And for us, that's, I mean, the good thing about us is we take ownership of things. So when we work mm -hmm. with a, when we work with a, a client and seller and agency and aggregator, yeah. they have, we have our own portal, they log the outcome and we take ownership. So at least when they give it to us, they don't need to think about it anymore. No. But if it's an urgent issue, we still have the issue now of managing expectations on both sides, mm -hmm. the client side and Amazon side, because we always say we don't work magic. We just yeah. follow best practice all day, every day and call Amazon and create flat files and feed files and work around the system as much as possible. But it's their yeah. system and we don't do anything outside the system. Um, so when things slow down, like there's not that much we can do yeah. apart from be very proactive and try and work around. So mm -hmm. is it something actually we could do with a flat file and mm -hmm. upload it and ask Amazon just to refresh or call them, try and get escalated to the leadership team and mm -hmm. get them to refresh? Yeah. Um, yeah, to be honest, that's uh, good. That's good. That's I mean, good. And, and another question now that you bring, which is escalation, I'm pretty sure you have seen all these, these tips about, oh, if Amazon doesn't reply to you or they don't really do any action, send an email to Jeff Bezos or these other mm -hmm. emails outside of Amazon. What is your take on that? Have you seen that actually working or will you say that's the typical like 
hack people put out there, but realistically, the most efficient way is to do everything through Seller Sender. <laughs> I would say, you know, we help clients email Jeff. It works, okay. but it's not, not the fastest way at all to get things yeah. fixed unless it's a major mm -hmm. issue. Um, one one good way of getting things fixed is brand using your brand registry account. It's mm, okay. usually faster. Raising the ticket through the brand registry account, you should get a faster response, even if they just transfer it to the inner team. Mm, interesting. Um, and then continue so that means any something. issue, it would be faster to go to brand register and then get that transferred to Seller Center, right? Maybe, maybe not. It depends. Okay. But it's anything to do with listings at all. Just do it through brand registry. And okay. other stuff, they'll just trans transfer into the normal team. Mm -hmm. um, one hack, which isn't a hack, it's just a funny story. You gotta, <laughs> yeah. If you want to hear it. Yeah. Um, Go for it. <laughs> I was on a, a sales call with Roslyn in Australia. Hey, Roslyn, if yeah. you're watching, this is the this is my story. I think it's it was you. Tommy, the story. <laughs> um, she was, um, she's the only person that's ever said, I have a 100% success rate through getting, for, getting through to the leadership team. Wow. And I was like, okay. wow, what do you do? And she's like, well, she gets on the call. She's really, something really bad had happened. Her ASIN was suspended. She was really not in a good place. Yeah. And she's like, um, yeah, so I just break down and crying, crying on the call. <laughs> and eventually they put, they put me through to the leadership team. So That's good. I went back to my team and I was like, do we have an SAP for that? Is there any way we can, <laughs> we can just get all of our team to break down crying all the time? Yeah. Um, but uh, no. Yeah, we need to well, find. We need to find. Uh, you need to find an, an actress or an actor that every single time you have something very bad, they just get on the phone and make like a scene and, and get everything transferred. <laughs> yeah, stream deck, crying sounds. Yeah, hundred percent. Now, um, what would you say right now, based on on the history that you see of people using seller candy right now? What are the things people are struggling the most? Will you say something? to do with uh, appeals, we say it's flat files. What are the things people you see now they're struggling that, you know, they come to you and, and, and that's where you add in the most value because it would be interesting to know what right now Amazon sellers uh, are having the most difficulty when it comes to navigating Seller Central and some tips yeah. if you can also share. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. So, I mean, when people come to us, they usually, they tend to either come with an issue because they've been referred by a partner and the partner's like, mm -hmm. Go and put the seller candy, they'll fix your stuff for you. Mm -hmm. um, or they come to us because they've heard about us around marketing and they're like, I just don't want to deal with hiring people in the Philippines and yeah, training them up just to do this technical stuff because that level of technical competence you need, then oversight is such a pain to maintain. I'm sure you have the same experience with your agency of like, I know. where yeah. do I get super highly competent people who I don't need to look over their shoulder 24 mm -hmm. seven? Um, yes. But anyway, we should about that part. Yeah. Of it. <laughs> um, <laughs> No, that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> I, to be um, honest, uh, I love uh, to always go in in depth and full transparency. So I love it. Don't worry. <laughs> nice. So, um, so yeah, about thirty percent of people come for one specific issue. So thirty percent of our is, is doing mm -hmm. with like we get them on board with an ASIN mm -hmm. suspension, writing and writing an appeal. Mm -hmm. I can't get these reviews to merge, no matter how many times I bang my head against the monitor. Mm -hmm. He's, I can't get these ASINs to merge or unmerge or stupid things like that, but they just drive people crazy and they get stuck and it's costing them a lot of money. Mm -hmm. um, our job, to be honest, I, I tell our team all the time at Seller Candy is to give them an amazing experience and show them really what life can be like working with us. So mm. part of the process is we have um, account health audit when we onboard somebody. So as, as we're fixing their issue, we also audit their account. We get on a call with them. We talk them through all of the potential opportunities and their settings mm -hmm. and things that are wrong. And we give them a list of stuff they can give to us for us to do. Okay. So then they submit all this list of things. We help them with their account. We make their life easier. And then the goal is that because we're a subscription service, you stay with us because it's only month mm -hmm. to month. We have to show our value every month. Sure. They stay and they do all the other stuff, which is the other 70%, which is um, creating flat files, just mm -hmm. anything to do with seller support. So our slogan for Prosper this year was never talk to seller support again. Mm, love and it. Yeah, we can make yeah. it so you never sort seller support again. You just log some log things with us and we we take care of all the BS for you. So life becomes Very good. easier. Yeah. Yeah. Sweet. I love it. Yeah, I mean to be honest, one of the things I can imagine that people use a lot and and, and that's why I, I was waiting for your answer is definitely that thing of merging listings, flat files and so on, because I feel every single time you say to a seller, yeah, the only way you can fix this is with a flight file. I don't know why, 
but the freeze, they get so scared. They think mm. this Excel is going to delete their business, it's going to ruin everything. <laughs> uh, and it's great that, you know, you guys are there to support in this specific uh, burner, which I know after talking to a lot of sellers, that, that's the case. Now, when it comes to, um, you know, working with Seller Candy, just to also understand a little bit about uh, the whole process, uh, how, how much information the actual seller must have? Because the, the reality is that sometimes when a, a seller sometimes has an issue with seller central support, sometimes they don't even know how to explain the issue or they don't even know how to actually provide information that, uh, you know, you guys might need. So just for audience to understand, let's say they have a, a suspension, they don't know why it happened or an issue with the listing. What is usually the, the basic information you guys will have to need to, to, to fix it there? Yeah? Yeah, that makes sense. So, I mean, what we do is I'll just take you through quickly the sign up process because then that explains mm -hmm. how you get the yeah. information across. Mm -hmm. So anyone that signs up for us, they usually go to our website, they click the get a quote button. So mm -hmm. they go through a form. So we get some information, super simple, like only three or four questions. Then they book a mm -hmm. call with our um, product advisor and they go through and see if we can help because we mm -hmm. don't want to sign That's you good. up. We can't help because it's just, you know, leads yeah, to something illegal or something or that you can not really do. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> or something that's not within our wheelhouse, you know, like, no, we'll refer you to a partner and this partner can help you. That's what we always do. Mm -hmm. We send people to partners. Um, so it's always good to talk to us and we'll help. We'll send you somewhere that can help. Mm -hmm. um, so then we, we sign up, you get, we do the onboarding call, you get access to your portal. Then in the portal, it has kind of some drop down menus. We've got, mm -hmm. I can even show you in a minute if you want, but we have the drop down, you can be like, what this, oh, I can, do you want me to show you? Yeah, I sure. Show you. Yeah, we can, we can do that. Yeah, so people can see that. the full dashboard and that will be great for people who have visibility yeah, of how the whole thing works. Oh, cool. So I can no longer see you because of StreamYard, but uh, can yeah. you see my screen? Yes. I'm gonna so, try and make it, does that look better? Is that a good size? So yes, I think it's, it's loading, but now we can see it. There you go. Awesome. Yeah. So yeah. this is Seller Candy in a nutshell. We've got a menu of services down here, which I can show in a second. Mm -hmm. um, and then up here, it's got a submit a ticket button. Okay. So if something's wanted to happen, they just the client just types in their marketplace or if they're an agency, you'd put in the name of the account just here. Mm -hmm. And then the categories are broken down just like our menu. So it should be very intuitive, something like inactive listings and then a suppressed listing, for example. Okay. Going mm -hmm. crazy. We'll put the ace in here. And then because we're we work on a on a queue based system, what, what that means is our clients pay us a flat fee per month, no matter what goes wrong with their account, they have a different amount of bandwidth based on their fee. So sure. if it starts at five nine seven with two simultaneous tickets, mm -hmm. and that means you put it back of the queue, front of the queue, or do it now. This is costing me loads of money. This is an mm -hmm. important yeah. one. Of course, yeah. <laughs> so as we finish one thing, we open the next one, finish one, open the next one. So from those two tickets, you can get a lot of tickets done a month, but it just means we're working on two at a time. Good. And and that yeah. means when I raise different tickets, uh, I mean, it could even be the same subject, just different listings, and that's totally fine, right? It doesn't yeah, need to totally be fine. one ticket per subject. Okay, that's nice. Um, and then so you go subject, which is just to help you notice it. I put suppressed banana holder because mm -hmm. I don't know why. <laughs> And um, okay. describe the outcome here. You just describe what you want to happen, attach a screenshot, but it could be, I raised this case already. They're driving me crazy. Here's the case ID, mm -hmm. or it could be as simple as fix this for me, figure out what's going on mm -hmm. with our team, our ex Amazon support agents. They know what's going on. Nice. We hire them from Amazon. So they're just here. If when our client submits something, it appears here. When our team responds, it appears below. And it also, the, our client gets an email about it. Mm -hmm. They can respond to that email. They just come in here once a day. It's he's submitted in progress, awaiting client response, awaiting Amazon response. And that's how they manage seller support from yeah. then on. Just now, I, I, that's very good. And, and a quick question before I forget, because I'm pretty sure sellers are going to ask this. I could see that you can select marketplaces. So right now, hmm. seller candy for which marketplaces uh, can support a uh, seller central support? Um, every every English speaking marketplace so and Europe. Oh, so nice. really, we do. Okay. We do that's everything. A big, that's a big bunch. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, everything's it's still the same in most. We just don't do much Japan because we don't have many Japanese clients. Just yeah. Just share quickly. This sure. works. Let's have a look. Yeah, I can't. Uh, I mean, just thinking about how crazy must be doing <laughs> Seller Central by <laughs> in Japanese. Oh my god. 
Yeah. Well, I mean, it is in English, but I don't. We we don't really just don't have any clients that sell a lot in Japan right now. But we could definitely yeah, do yeah. Japanese. We could hire some hire some people. Yeah. Um. So our menu, you can download this on the website. I think if you go to the website, nice. you scroll down to our packages, and then it's hyperlinked in the package. Our menu of service. Mm -hmm. um, and it does everything. You know, shows everything from inactive listings to flat files, store updates, merging. Mm -hmm. We do reporting as well, and we can help with inventory projection and produce interactive inventory projection. Mm. That's interesting. So how does it work, this inventory report? So you can help with how much they, they need to order or something like that? Mm. Yeah, so we have Google Data Studio. We basically build custom reporting. So we download okay. the data from, from Amazon. We format it. We look at their inventory limits. We look at their previous sales. And we help them identify how much needs to be in the Amazon warehouse and also their, mm. their order levels. We got it all standardly pre-built. And it's something wow. we have our clients with. That's very interesting. OK, good. Um, we also have account health issues. So if they're a reseller, then mm -hmm. account health is one of their biggest focuses. Every single day. They're continuously you know. screwing things up. Mm -hmm. um, shipments, reimbursements we do for an extra fee. And then basically anything that you can raise a case to mm -hmm. sell a support about that's driving you nuts. And I can see as well some, uh, and this is just my agency mindset coming into play here. I can see here account management. And you guys also do like account audit new market expansion, PPC report. So this one, not even for agents, but also for sales, would be very interesting. I guess with these reports, you can get a flavor of where your business at and, and and next steps, right? I guess with those reports. Yeah, but um, we don't but we don't do full man full management. Like and I aim my goal with seller candy is never no. to compete with our clients and more than fifty yeah. percent of our clients are agencies. So yeah, it's just but these reports I get give you a very, level. very nice breakdown of of your PPC or your account and and then potentially you could use that to to give it to an agency that this is my account status and and go from there. You see what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Good. Very interesting. Interesting. Nice. Uh, good. So now another thing um I wanted to ask you regarding Sir Candy. Um so we can start concluding today's episode. So um, when it comes to sign up to to Sir Candy, so it's a subscription model uh, um and I guess what what are usually some of the, the the main perks between one and another? I think just to clarify and, and confirm what's the number of cases you can open, right? At a single time. Um yeah, so different packages starting at five nine seven for a client okay. for a for a seller, which gives you okay. unlimited marketplaces for one Amazon business. Okay. We went through a few iterations of that, but that's what seems to work best. And mm -hmm. from nineteen ninety seven, so $2,000 for an agency, and that does unlimited accounts with 10 nice. simultaneous tickets. So that's where agencies start at. Um, and then work the way up from there. If you're, you know, once you've got 100 accounts, 150 accounts, 200, you might want to upgrade. Good. Um, so for that, you get the two simultaneous tickets at 597 or three simultaneous tickets for 797. As we mm -hmm. finish one, we open the next one, finish one, open the next one. And we manage your queue. So if you submit too much or if you Nice. submit something and we see it as urgent one of our smart competent people will be looking at your queue anyway and saying are you sure that you mm. don't want this one here it <laughs> seems like something that's a bit more urgent yeah um because we want you to have a good experience like it's not yes. it's our goal for you to have that's a good what experience. matters of course yeah yeah because um, we have a 30-day money-back guarantee uh for nice. the first month and then after that you know after that you'll just you just need to give us 30 days notice if you want to leave but uh, we are there that's to fun. support you Good. And I can see as well. So, you know, we can also bring this to the table because I, I find it very interesting. I was having a look at, at the website as well. You guys are offering something that is the revenue recovery. Maybe you can touch a little bit on that if you can. Sounds interesting. Sure, yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. the revenue recovery is, is reimbursements. It's, it's like okay. Amazon reimbursements. Um, you know, you might be using somebody else. Like our ethos is if you're using us and you like us and you've got regular communication with us, we are the best person to do your Amazon reimbursements because nice. we already have a regular cadence of communication. So if we need anything from you, you're probably going to give it to us yeah. as opposed to other services who are like SASs, who mm -hmm. like just, most people ignore emails from SASs, don't they? They're not like going to respond <laughs> to it. So we make it yeah. so that we can really help you get the max amount of money back by actually helping you help yourself by sending us the stuff we ask for. Nice. That, that's very interesting. Yeah, I think... Yeah, usually that, that human touch is, and as you say, building that relationship, I think that's what I think is, is definitely setting seller candy apart is that human part that, you know, you're always in constant 
communication with, with, with the client. And, and I feel after building that, it's much easier to get the information, which I feel most of the time, I bet that's the issue. Like you ask for information, they don't provide. But I, again, that's the process you guys are trying to build here with this system. That's, it's like a very nice dashboard. You have very intuitive uh, next steps. And, and that's what makes it so enjoyable. And after speaking to sellers, they're just loving it. So that's why I wanted to bring you on. <laughs> oh, thank you. Who did you talk to? Interest out of interest. Uh, just just sellers. I mean, uh, not nobody specific from the space. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. But yeah. But yeah, awesome job. And I think, I don't know if you want to uh, mention anything else before we conclude to the episode, any promotion, anything that you want to throw at us? If I oh yeah, I mean, I'd love to shamelessly plug the new thing we're working on if, if, that's, <laughs> uh, if that works for you. Sure, yeah, go on. Two things, I'll plug two things while I'm here. Two things. Okay. I mean, I'll be here for another 30 minutes, but no. <laughs> um, the first one is that we, we understand that not everyone's ready for seller candy yet, but everyone struggles with seller support. Mm -hmm. And so what we've been trying to do is we're building something to give back to the industry mm -hmm. to actually help people who can't afford us yet, but still need the help. Yes. Uh, what we're calling it is Ask Seller Candy, um, not Ask Candy, because if you say that too fast, it sounds really <laughs> Ask <weird>. it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Our team was saying that for the first month. We, we stopped it. So Ask yeah. Seller Candy, um, what that means is you can create a, a login for our portal and you can ask us up to two questions a month, um, free for the first, I think, six three to six months i think it's six months mm -hmm. um and we will give you a written response of how to fix this thing so nice. we will tell you how to fix it um we won't do it for you you have to pay for seller candy for that yeah of course but we'll tell you the steps that we would take to do wow. it and um yeah it's just a way of us giving back and helping wow. people and also getting you into us into our e ecosystem so that when you're ready you can sign up to yeah, it's, like, it's basically like a like a mini community that you have somebody to talk to and you get the written response and that you you go and implement it yourself, which is very yeah. good. And you're asking an agent. You're basically asking a support agent. Yeah. So not a random person in Facebook. <laughs> yeah, not um, not a VA <laughs> from somewhere else in the world in Facebook who yeah <laughs> going to sell you something. Yeah, we're still trying to sell you something, but only after we really clearly explain yeah, like, this is how you should do it. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, good for us, good for everyone. Nice. So that's one thing. The second thing is another thing I've been asked a lot over the past like two to three years, okay. which is, do you do anything outside of seller support? And, mm. and my answer is always no, no, we don't. Um, but recently people have been asking a lot about VAs and like, what about if I want a VA to just be a general EA, like take stuff off my plate, stop mm. mean it so I don't, they won't do my, you know, they won't do full account management, but they'll like be my supporter so that I can be consistent yeah. in my actions not just yeah. all over the place like yeah like the, re like the repetitive things on a daily basis that don't really add value to grow the business yeah yeah email creating um creating small creatives for for things mm -hmm. you're doing outreach booking things talking to suppliers all this stuff that a good assistant mm -hmm. can do so mm -hmm. we're and my response has always been like it's hard in the philippines because it's a there's a mindset gap between a lot of people hire in the Philippines and have issues churning employees because the person doesn't get them. They keep, they're not uh, communicative enough. They can ghost mm -hmm. people. Like you have issues with Filipino employees sometimes. So if mm -hmm. you're not, if you don't hire them well. So what we're doing is we are merging mindset and recruiting in the okay. Philippines into a VA service where we will hire you a VA. We'll manage them internally with internal one-to-ones and we're really focusing on mindset. So we're calling it magical VAs. Okay. And we're hiring and training mindset trained VAs for the e-commerce space outside of Seller Candy, but just to, to really just help people wow. get the support they need and free them from the daily BS of stuff they don't want to do, basically. Yeah, that's very interesting. Yeah, because I, I agree with you. The issue, I mean, don't get me wrong, VAs are, are amazing and you can definitely yeah. find very good ones. But yes, it's difficult sometimes, especially if they don't come from the mindset of Amazon or e-commerce and they're just gen general. VAs that it's difficult to adapt to the workflow and, and, and all those things. So yeah, I think you're going to crush it with that. So let me know once it's out and maybe we can uh, do another podcast and we can talk about that for sure. <laughs> oh, thank you. And we just placed our first one. We're building the system and we're building an amazing team out there who's building the nice. business currently of, of VAs, but you know, nice. ex supporters. And the cool thing is for not that much money, you can hire ex middle mid-level managers yeah. people who've hired trained hr experience like yeah in the us will cost you thousands yeah 
<laughs> yeah, but thousands per person for like less than five grand, you can put together a full full operational team before we launch the business. So um, yeah, that's what's that's what I love about you. people over there. They're great people. Nice, nice, awesome. So yeah, thank you very much, John. I mean, it, it's been a pleasure to talk to you. You have very exciting things coming up, and I love your entrepreneurial mindset. So definitely, we need to catch up in person soon. Uh, yes, thank you for what you're doing with Seller Candy. I think it's definitely provide a lot of value to the Amazon community. I'm going to make sure I put all the information down in the description for everybody listening, uh, so in the notes of the podcast. And that's it. So looking forward to having you on the next one. Yeah, it's been a pleasure, man. Thanks, Vincenzo. Always happy to come. Yeah, thank you. Bye-bye.